Yo, what's up, guys? It's John, and I'm back. Uh, just thought to come up with a quick update on my Suboxone taper. Today was the day that I cut down by a quarter of a strip, so I was at half a strip a day. I cut like a quarter off that half a strip, so I, don't know, I probably took like two milligrams or a little bit more today. And this is my first day at that level, dropping down to that level. I haven't felt anything yet, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I just wanted to let you know that this was my day where I tapered down a little bit more. <clears throat> I did feel something a little, a little bit for a couple of days when I tapered, tapered down from one strip to half a strip a day. Not like anything serious, but uh, so far the process hasn't been too uncomfortable. We'll see how this goes in a couple of days because it's going to take a couple of days for my body to realize that I cut down the dose. Suboxone has a long half life. Oh, look at these carts. These are some fire ass carts, bro. Got them from uh, my boy. He made them. These things are fire, bro. Paid 25 each. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a little tea break from Bud right now. A successful one, hopefully. <laughs> I can never take a successful fucking tea break from weed ever. I fucking, I, I fucking love weed. I'm having no problems tapering off my Suboxone. Had no problems getting off cocaine or heroin or any of that shit. But I can't even get through a weed tea break. It's the funniest fucking thing in the world. Weed is really the hardest thing for me to stop doing. I don't know why. I think what I'm going to try to do to get through this tea break, I'm going to try to microdose. Because, uh... I tried I tried microdosing the other night and I felt great. I didn't trip, but like I, I got a nice feeling and uh I could I could use that. Yeah, that was a good feeling. But it wasn't too much. I just felt right, you know, like my head was right and everything like that. But I got to get through this weed tea break. I'm going to try to go for a month. I'm going to need to, man, for, for weed to work the way it should, man. I've been smoking for over 20 years and heavily. Dude, I can smoke this whole cart to the face and it wouldn't fucking get me high. It's like, it's, I'm like wasting money on weed. It's barely like working. It's going to be very hard for me to take this tea break for a month. Harder than anything else I'm doing. Harder than tapering off the Suboxone. Tapering off the Suboxone is like a joke. Well, so at least so far, it's been... Uh, I had, had to do a part two because of the space on my phone. Forgot what I was talking about, but, um, yeah, man, this weed tea break should be, like, the more difficult thing that I'm doing right now. Like I was saying, like, like stopping weed is more difficult for me than stopping anything else. It's the thing I, it's the thing I do the most, so, like, I smoke weed every day. I don't do shrooms every day. I, I never was doing, like, any of those other things every day. Weed was the only thing I always did every day. I think that's why it's the hardest thing for me to stop, because it's the most of a habit for me, you know? The opiates are too, but I don't know, man. I've always loved weed. But yeah, psychedelics have really set me on the right track. Um, I've came up with my decision to come down, to come down off the Suboxone while I was under the influence of shrooms. Um... Like psychedelics have put me in the mind state like they like to where I want to do better and not be stuck in the same rut I've been stuck in all these years. I don't know, they open my mind to newer possibilities like 
I felt kind of stagnant and they really helped, you know? Psychedelics are amazing and I didn't realize like how much healing power they really have. I wish I wish I had discovered them sooner. Like I'm a I'm a late bloomer when it comes like I did a lot of drugs at a young age, but I'm a late bloomer when it comes to psychedelics. For some reason I was always scared of them. I felt like it was too much of a loss of control. But what I've learned like as as I started doing them is when you let go of that control, everything's fine. So it taught me how to let go of control, which in turn really helped me learn to control my anxiety issue. Because controlling anxiety is all about letting go of control, really. Because you can't control it, so let go. And at least for me, like when I just let go of everything, like that anxiety is all gone. And I, I, I practice that when I'm straight and I'm not on mushrooms, too. Like, and it works. So let me show you exactly how much of a Suboxone strip I am taking every day. All right. So that's how much I'm taking. Just that. That's it. Just that every day. This is the first day that I'm at this level. I got two pieces this size in this container. So I get four doses out of one strip now. So I'm taking about two milligrams a day now. I just dropped today to two milligrams. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm sure I'm going to feel some kind of discomfort at some point. If not today, or tomorrow, or the next day. But I'm determined to get off this. Because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Peace out, guys.